Okay. Uh, in this class, we will be looking at how to uninstall Oracle Database 19C. And um, we will follow all the steps diligently. There are about four steps. Please follow. The first one is to go to your environment variable and delete the Oracle parameter. So environment, environment variable setup, environment variable, We are not using the user variable for a gusto, we are using system variable. So the name may be different. So go to path, double click it. So this is the part that connects Oracle. You have a C double colon DBD, BD underscore homes bin. So we are deleting this. Highlight it and delete. Okay, this is all you need to delete here. That's all for the environment variable. Okay, the next place you go to is your reg edit, your regular registry editor. Reg edit, registry editor, open registry editor. You have to be careful here because if you delete what you are not supposed to delete, you may have problem with your operating system. Your system may eventually crash. So. We have, let me collapse all this. <coughs> okay, where you have <coughs> HKEY local nation, open the node. So we'll be considering the two. We're looking at the software and the system. Open the software, look for Oracle. This is Oracle. You are supposed to have just one oracle. Right click and delete oracle. Yes. Please be careful. Don't delete any oracle other than oracle. Okay, close the software node. Open the system node. Look for, look for current control set. So open the node of the current control set. Go to the services of the current control set. Open this node of the services. Go down and see all Oracle configuration files. Okay, go to O. You find Oracle configuration files. Delete all of them. I want to say this again. Be careful so that you don't delete what will hurt you. Okay, the first one is this. Yours may be different, but I think I have about uh, five here. So delete everything that, has, that starts with Oracle. Okay, I will delete the one after the other. Be diligent in deleting so that you don't uh, create a problem for your system. Okay, this is the last one. All right, we have done justice to that. Close. So we have taken two steps. The first one is uh, the environment variable. The set Third one, second one is the regular express, uh, sorry, the reg edit or register editor. <coughs> so next, go to your computer, go to C drive, C drive, your program or program files, delete Oracle. You can find Oracle there, delete it, we don't want it, so that uh, there will be no conflict with Okay. Oracle is gone. Another thing is this may give you a little challenge, this APP, okay? This APP is actually where I have the Oracle installed. So you want to delete it, it will give you a little challenge. So most times it's best you delete it when you have restarted the system or best change the name or throw it into something else. So the ones I've done before, I threw it into, <coughs> into nothing. So this one, let me see if it will go. If it doesn't go, we'll have to do it manually okay it refused to go so you have to restart your system before you can tamper with that file so this is the first stage let's let us look at the last stage before we go um your window key right click the window key look for computer management all right open computer management
Okay, this is computer management. Look for local user and group. Open the node. You have local users and uh, groups. So let's look at it one after the other. Open the local user. Okay, the local user, this is mine. Be careful because, um, okay, if you want to know the content of this, if you should delete it or not, open it, double click it, look for member of. You can see this is member, everything here is Oracle. Okay, everything here is Oracle. So if it is not Oracle, you shouldn't. So you have to open the member of to know exactly what you want to delete. So I will right click and delete. <coughs> Because, because the one I sent to you, I said the username and the password should be back, um, back uh, Babcock. Okay, so that's why you have to Babcock there. So any other one, if you open it, member of, there's no business with Oracle here. This one, member of, no business with Oracle here. Okay, so you don't have any business with all these. Member of, okay, you have Oracle here also. So we have to delete all these, um, remove 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 okay apply okay all right so with this we have actually cleared the system remaining just one so we have to restart our system after rest restarting our system we delete the app okay that thing um, that is how to delete your Oracle database. Then after you have to restart your system, delete the APP or change the name of the APP so that you don't have conflict with the um, app file you are going to create while creating your Oracle database. I think um, that is all for now.